Not only am I trying this product that I got from some unknown merchant from the TikTok shop, I will also be attempting to give myself a fade for the first time. I don't know what's up with TikTok, but for whatever reason, every third video I scroll on is some promotion for some item that someone bought at the TikTok shop. One day, someone's promoting a portable monitor. The next day, someone's promoting some skincare routine or camera. I don't know when TikTok became so corporate. Instead of being the solution to the problem or calling people out on their BS, I decided to join them and I decided to get myself some clippers. I think it took about like two, two and a half weeks for these to come in. I don't remember the last time I cut my hair, but it's it's been a little minute. You know, I try to keep it clean a little bit. When I first started cutting my hair, I just got some standard clippers. It came with the guards and stuff, just no lover. This is what I've been using i don't remember where i picked these up from i'd have been like walmart or something like that but again no lever so i never did dabble in giving myself a fade so this might also be a tutorial video for those who also don't know how to cut their hair let me unbox this first hmm it smells like a specific type of cushion. The smell's not bad. I like the casing, not gonna lie to you. If it's a good product, it's a good product. But now if it's a bad product, you know, I wouldn't lie to you. By the end of the video, you know for sure if it is good or not. Is this what I think this is? I did not know it was gonna come with one of those covers. So these are them. They don't look too bad. Definitely gonna use this to line myself up. And then of course it has its guards. The charging cables as well. Oh, it's already charged up. They also tell you how charged up it is. This is an interesting as come. Let me watch this tutorial real quick on how to give myself a fade and then we'll get right back into it. So for my extensive research, I have learned absolutely nothing. I'm just messing. For starters, it's two different blades on here. So when you got it like this that's considered closed i don't know if all clippers are like this but this one in particular has notches to it if that's not satisfying i don't know what is when i cut my hair what i'm going to do is keep it closed for the first part start off with the closed lever no guard then just shave off the sides about an inch and then move on to the next guard pretty much just increase the guards until i get to the top of my hair where i barely cut off anything and then following that i will go with a half closed with the same guards and try to flick up not to cut too much so that they can blend in a little bit nicer then that should be it the great thing about having long hair is if i do mess up it's not like you guys are gonna see it well that's what was supposed to happen but that is not what happened first and foremost the plan you have is not a one size fits all and i learned that the hard way i did the no guard then i did the one guard then i realized by the time i got to the two guard i look crazy i'm like bro what am i supposed to do i started panicking bro i panicked bad I was freaking out, but you know what? I had to put away the sassy for a little bit and let the nonchalant come out. Cause once I lock in, bro, I lock in. At this point, I knew what I had to do. I had to freestyle. Forget everything I had watched, everything I had researched up until now. At this point, it ain't matter. Just do something. I'm talking no guard, using guards, no lever, closed leather. I go from the one guard to the two guard, then go back down to no guard, then back to two guard, just to try and make it work. And honestly, I am quite impressed with the work I did. This is the final look. I noticed something too. I have not done anything to the sideburns yet, which was part of the reason why I was looking a little bit funny. After that, I was able to relax a little bit. Once again, I am not an official certified licensed barber. There is no way I was expecting to be this A1 fader. Like that chunk was gonna look like Picasso. Plus, again, I had my backup plan. After that, trimmed my facial hair down a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Once I got the fading out the way, I felt very much in my element. I don't know if it's cause I cleaned myself up or what. It's got me looking right. I was trying to hide it to show the big review, but this, bro, like the fade ain't too bad. Again, it's not the best, but it'll do. What really matters is my face, though. Everything's trimmed up nicely. For someone that's not a pro, I, you know, I really can't complain. That's a better look at the lineup. Yeah, the lineup is pretty solid, honestly. I think I did a pretty good job with that. This drone is clean, not gonna lie to you. I mean, the whole set was $50. It's not too bad, uh, depends on what you expect. This came with a lot. The regular clippers and the lineup edge-up trimmer thing came with a comb, a little cover. The case itself looks pretty nice. You've seen that. It's also electric, so you don't have to worry about a wire getting in the way. Personally, I think it's worth it. Okay, I think another thing I should mention is 
the quality of the clippers the clippers cut smooth i mean compared to other clippers i felt on my head i didn't really feel any different i will say they were kind of hot the big one got hot at a certain point not like it was like unbearable to the skin but it was like hotter than i would have expected that was probably like the only issue the battery life was pretty good i probably spent like an hour and a half cutting my hair i probably used up 40 percent. i think it was at like 60 something percent charge left everything felt pretty professional pretty legit i definitely did a good job on myself again i am inexperienced and i was able to do this with the tiktok clippers so hey maybe the tiktok shop isn't that bad i just find it crazy that you spend more time watching ads on tiktok than you probably would just watching tv but i definitely see why i see why people jump on the craze what can i say i'm a follower 10 out of 10 would recommend and i'm not just saying that plus look at the results what are the results telling you